Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to start chapter three today of the second grade Go Math textbook. We're on page 121 of the second grade uh, Go Math textbook. And we're going to practice using double facts today to solve uh, problems that are near. So, how can you use double facts to find sums for near double facts? What that basically means is let's say, like, we have two plus three. Well, a double Uh, sorry, a double fact that we know is 2 plus 2 is 4. And so we just go 2 plus 2 plus 1 extra if we're doing 2 plus 3. So listen to this following problem. Okay, let's just review what we mean by double facts. Um, now, when I ask you to draw a picture for representing this, just keep it simple, like circles, X's, squares, okay, dots even, okay? Nathan has six toy cars. Alicia gives him six more toy cars. How many toy cars does Nathan have now? Okay, so draw a quick picture, draw a picture for that. He has six cars. Alicia gives him six more toy cars. And then write an addition sentence down here, okay? Pause the video while you do that, and then check to see if you're on the right track. All right, so I'm going to start with the six cars that he already has. And then Alicia gives him six more. So what addition problem are we representing here? Well, that's six plus six equals what? Well, we should be really good with our double facts. And so six plus six is 12. So now he has 12 toy cars. Okay. So what are some other double facts that you know? Let's write them, okay? Let's start with the simplest one. One plus one. That's two, right? Two plus two. You should quickly say four. Three plus three. Six. Four plus four. Eight. Five plus five. 10. We already did 6 plus 6, but let's write it. 7 plus 7. 14. 8 plus 8. 16. 9 plus 9. 18. And let's go ahead and stop at 10 plus 10. That's 20. Now, I should go ahead and put 0 plus 0. That is a double, but 0 plus 0 is just 0, right? Okay, so these are some double facts that we should know. Now, why is that important? Because I can use these double facts to find the sum of other problems. Okay, for instance, let's look at page 122. Okay, so... You can use double facts to find sums for other facts. For instance, 3 plus 4 equals what? Well, 3 plus 4, that's close to 3 plus 3, right? 4 is just one more than 3. So we could use the double fact, 3 plus 3, and then just add one more. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus one more is 7. We can also actually subtract. We could say, well, let's double the 7. Okay, if I do that, in a sense, I'm changing the 6 to 7, right? But then I didn't, add, the problem is not 7 plus 7. So I have to subtract that 1 that I changed the 6 to. Okay, the only reason we're changing this to a double in this by um, making it more is that maybe 7 plus 7 is an easy double that you know. 
and 7 plus 7 is 14. Take away the extra 1, and then we get 13. Could I do 6 plus 6 plus 1? Sure. Okay? So whatever makes the most sense to you. But realize that you can, you can add or subtract with double facts. All right, so write a double fax that you can use to find the sum, and then write the sum. 2 plus 3. All right, well, I could use 2 plus 2, right? And 2 plus 2 is 4, and so we have to add the 1 from the 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5. Could I use 3 plus 3? Minus 1? Yeah. I could say 3 plus 3 minus 1 is 5. Because 3 plus 3 is 6. Subtract 1. I still get 5. All right, how about this one? 4 plus 5. I could clearly use 4 plus 4, which is 8 plus 1, would give us 9. Okay, 4 plus 4. 8 plus 1. Could I use 5 plus 5? Yeah, 10 take away 1, 9. Okay, so I can use either one. All right, 4 plus 3. I could use 3 plus 3, which is 6. 6 plus 1 would give me 7. I could say 4 plus 4, which equals 8, and then subtract 1. Okay, so here I change the 3 to a 4, and use the double fact 4 and 4, which is 8, and I subtracted the extra 1 that I put on for the 3. 6 plus 7 equals what? Well, we could do 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1. So we're changing the 7 to 6, so I have a double fact. And then I'm adding the 1. If I was subtract using a higher double fact, I change this 6 to 7, which would give me 14. But then I'd subtract 1. Five plus six equals what? Five plus six is the same as saying 5 plus 5 plus 1. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. I could say 6 plus 6 minus 1. So, however you do it, we still wind up with 11. 8 plus 7 equals what? I could do 7 plus 7, which is 14, plus one more, because 8 is one more than 7. So that would be 15. I could add 1 to the 8, the second 7, and make it 8 plus 8 equals 16 minus 1, because I added 1 from the 7 to make it 8, and 16 take away 1 is 15. All right, let's look at page 123. Write a double fact you can use to find the sum and then write the sum. All right, I can start with 4 plus 4, which is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. I could use the higher double facts, 5 plus 5, which gives me 10. And then I would subtract the 1 that I added to make the 4, 5. 6 plus 5. Well, that's 5 plus 5 plus 1. All right? So we took a smaller, we, we subtracted 1 in our head from 6 to give us 5 and 5 because we wanted to do a double fact because those are those should be easy for us to do. 5 and 5 is 10. And then I add back the 1 that I took away from the 5. So 10 plus 1 is 11. If I use 
sixes as the double fact, that means I'm making this five one bigger. So when I add them, I get six and six is 12, but I got to subtract the one. Because remember, I changed the five to a six by adding one. So I got to make so account for that by subtracting one. Okay, six plus seven equals what? Six plus six. Twelve plus one. We have to account for the fact that we subtracted one from the seven to make it a double six. Or I could do seven plus seven, which is 14 minus the one. Seven plus eight, seven plus seven, which is 14 plus the extra one. Or I can go eight plus eight, which is 16, subtract the one that I changed the seven, changed the seven to an eight from, and I still get 15. Eight plus nine equal. Well, I could use eight plus eight, which is 16, and add the one. Or I could do nine plus nine, which is 18, and subtract one. Five plus six is the same as five plus five plus an extra one, right? Six is just one more than five. Okay, or I could say six plus six is 12 and subtract the six because five is one less than six. Seven plus six. Well, I can start with 6 plus 6, which is 12, and add 1. Or I could say 7 plus 7, 14, and subtract 1. Nine plus 8, I could use the double facts 8 plus 8, which is 16, and then I would add the one to equal eight plus one would be nine. I could change the eight to a nine. So I'd have double nines and subtract one. All right, Mr. Norris wrote a double spec. It has a sum greater than six. The numbers that he added are each less than six. What fact might he have written? So the numbers he added are less than six. But it has a sum greater than six. Well, let's just see. One plus one, that's a doubles fact, right? It's less than six. But is one plus one greater than six? No. So it wasn't one plus one. Two plus two? No, that's four. That's not greater than six. Three plus three. Well, three plus three equals six. That's not greater than six. Four plus four, that's eight. So that could have been a math fact he wrote. Could he have written five plus five? Yeah, that's greater than six. And the two numbers that we're adding are both less than six, so we could have also written five plus five. Could he have written six plus six? No, because six is not less than six. So these are the only two possibilities he could have written. All right, let's look at page 124. All right. Solve, write, or draw to explain. So we have to analyze this. Andrea has eight red buttons and nine blue buttons. How many buttons does Andrea have? All right, so let's see. What do we know? Well, we know we have to find how many total buttons she has. And that means we need to know that she has eight 
red buttons, and she also has nine blue buttons. All right, let's go ahead and use this example here. So let's just draw circles to represent our buttons. And I'll put a little R in here for red. All right, so two, four, six, eight. We have eight red buttons, and she had nine blue buttons. Okay, and I'll put a little blue, a lowercase b in those circles to represent the blue. So what math problem do we have drawn here? Well, we have eight red plus nine blue equals something. Well, what doubles fact could we use? Well, let's use eight plus eight plus one. So in other words, all we're doing is changing the nine to an eight, so we have a double fact, and I'm gonna add one. So eight and eight is 16 plus one, 17. So she has 17 buttons. All right, Henry sees three rabbits and Kelly, Kelly sees double that number of rabbits. How many more rabbits does Callie see than Henry? How many more? All right, so Henry, saw three rabbits. Callie saw twice as many. So she saw the same, maybe like the same three, but she also saw three more. Okay, so Henry saw three. Callie saw six. How many more does Callie see than Henry? Well, Three take away three is zero, right? So that means Callie saw three more rabbits. And basically, our math problem for that would have been six minus three equals three. All right, now, could you use the double facts to find the sum for four plus five, choose yes or no? Four plus five. Could I use four plus four equals eight plus one? Yeah, that makes sense, okay. Could I use five plus five? Five plus five, equals 10, and then we would subtract one. Yeah, I could use that. Nine plus nine. No, that doesn't make any sense. You can't double the sum. We're using doubles for the add-ins, the two numbers that we're adding together. So, it wouldn't make sense to do 9 plus 9. All right, so that's it for our first lesson using double facts. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.